Break bars, also known as defiance bars, are bars that appear below some enemies to restrict the use of crowd control skills on them. These break bars can appear both as locked and unlocked. A locked bar completely prevents the enemy from being affected by crowd control skills, whereas the unlocked bar will allow you to damage it by using crowd control skills including, but not limited to, fear, taunt, immobilize, slow, chilled, blinding, weakness, crippling, dazing, knockdowns, and stuns. When an unlocked break bar is broken, a few different things can occur. Mostly, it will interrupt the attack of the enemy, but it can also cause them to be stunned, knocked down, or even become exposed, which makes them more susceptible to damage for 5 seconds. Simply hover the bar to see which effect will happen when broken. Depending on the enemy, then you will usually find a recharge phase where the break bar turns brown. While the bar is brown, the enemy will be fully immune to crowd control skills. Once it is fully charged, it will turn teal again and you will be able to break it once more. While it is tempting to blow all your crowd control skills immediately to break the bar, there are times where you might not want to do that. As your PvE skills improve, you will find that certain encounters have strategies that revolve around not breaking this bar. This is usually done to avoid certain mechanics that will come after breaking the bar. If your build is not equipped with crowd control skills, then it is also possible to use certain consumable items, such as the wooden plank, which will give you crowd control skills when equipped. This was such an effective way of breaking the bars, that most of these items have been disabled in places like fractals. This was Break Bars in 100 Seconds.